with the man who gave Donald Duck his voice after these messages. Good morning. Our guest today is Donald Duck. <laughs> Actually, our guest today is Ducky Nash, the voice of Donald Duck. For how long, Mr. Nash? Well, ever since he started, uh, and that was in 34. In 1934 was his first uh, picture. And how did you get to be the voice of Donald Duck? Well, one time I was on a radio program, and uh, Walt heard me that night. He had a late story meeting that night. And... Uh, He's telling his uh, men that that fellow sounds like a talking duck. Let's get in touch with him. And that's quite a long story. I could tell you more about that. But he hired you after... Was there a Donald Duck in... There was never a duck until that happened. So uh, he created Donald Duck after hearing your voice. That's right. The voice came first. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm glad it happened, too. <laughs> what did you say, Donald? I said, I'm glad it happened. Because I was born that way. I see. You're glad it happened because you were born that way. Yeah. How many Donald Duck movies have there been? Well, I would say 128 uh, cartoons, shorts, and uh, I think you appeared in five features. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Well, we have a Donald Duck cartoon from the Disney archives, one of the famous uh -huh. ones in which, Donald, you appear with your three nephews whose names are... Hewitt, yes. Hewitt, and Hewitt. Okay. It is a Thanksgiving dinner, and this is what happens when Donald speaks. children, Ducky Nash? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sure. <laughs> you know, we get mixed up or what's so hot. Yes, I have two daughters, I have eight grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. When you were first a father and you had very little children, did you ever talk duck to your wife so the kids wouldn't know what you're talking about? <laughs> no. You know, my wife gets a little tired of that. <laughs> Donald's voice sometimes, but... I've had a lot of fun with it with our children. Uh, my youngest one, uh, Peggy, uh, she did a pretty good job of uh, doing Donald's voice. You sleep in a feather bed? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I do. Yes. <laughs> There's a big retrospective of Walt Disney at the Museum of Broadcasting. Yeah, that's right. Yes, and Donald and I are going to appear there, too. Do you ever think you're a duck? I mean, has this so <laughs> taken over your life? Your first name is even Ducky. What's your real first name? Uh, Clarence. 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 So you became Ducky Nash because of Donald. That's right. When I went to work for Walt Steady, I worked on uh, uh, several productions for Walt before I went to work for him Steady. But you don't think you're a duck? Well, no, but you know, at first it started with a little kid, a little billy goat. Two kids, in fact. I was one of them, and the billy goat was the other. I'd feed him on a bottle, and when I'd leave him, he'd cry. And I'd imitate that cry. And one day I thought, that's a voice. Maybe I can say words with it. And I tried it out on some of my friends, and they laughed. They thought it was funny. And at that time, I was 13 years old. I had a feeling I might capitalize on that voice. It worked. How many other voices can you do? Well, I have done Mickey's in voice once in a while. What does he sound like? Around. Well, <laughs> hi, everybody! <laughs> But Jimmy McDonald is the voice of Mickey now, and, uh, of course, and then to Cliff Edwards, when he wasn't capable of working and he passed away, I uh, did uh, Jiminy Cricket's voice in some educational film. Let's hear Jiminy Cricket. 
a whale like, hey, wait for me, Pinocchio, or something like that. I, I'm not sure that I'm getting it as good as it I... It sounds good to me. <laughs> Don't you think so, Donald? think that was Jiminy Cricket? <laughs> I think this guy's a pretty good job. <laughs> he does a pretty good job. Yeah. What do you think of going around life sitting on the lap of Ducky Nash? Do you like him all right? Oh, it's sure. We're inseparable. You are inseparable. That's right. Ducky Nash, thank you very much. It's a good pleasure to be here, Chief. Thank you, Donald, and thanks for all the pleasure you both have given so many millions of people around the world. It's a great pleasure. That still is, and it's very nice to meet you. Thank you, Donald. And you keep out of mischief, you hear? I'll keep out of mischief. All right. <laughs> Don't bet on it. You know, we should have introduced Huey, Dewey, and Louie to Alvin, Theodore, and Simon in our first hour. That would have been television history. We'll be back with more on today after these messages. Look for this.